An estimated 35% of the Metro Manila population live in unstable, poorly constructed shelters in slums. 11% of slum residents live near unsafe areas, like railroads and garbage dumps. Living conditions in slums are worse than in the poorest rural areas. Tuberculosis rates were nine times higher than in non-slum areas, and that rates of diarrheal disease were two times higher. It is difficult to collect adequate demographic data on slum populations, as most constituents lack a proper address. In 2000 the Asian Development Bank estimated a total slum population of around 3.4 million in Manila. The rate of childhood malnutrition is three times higher. Children sometimes have to sort through garbage for scraps of food. 80% of children have at least two species of intestinal parasites. Residents in Manila slums lack access to proper sanitation and a clean environment. 66% of slum residents lack an adequate way to dispose of human waste and often resort to open pits or rivers. Only 16% of children in the slums have access to clean drinking water. As a result, residents often turn to vendors or contaminated groundwater. The child mortality rate in slums is three times higher than in non-slum areas. The moderate economic growth in recent years did not help to mitigate poverty or slums. Chronic poverty, driven by factors like severe inequality and corruption, hinders the reduction of slum residents and settlements. The Philippines ranked 141 out of 180 countries in the 2018 Transparency International Corruption Perceptions Index. Local political dynasties manipulate markets to deter the poor from accessing private goods and capital. Poverty is passed down from one generation to the next. A life with dignity has long been forgotten by people. Most of the residents who had migrated to Manila from rural areas for jobs, but ended up in poverty, with shattered dreams and no means to lead decent lives. Poverty is one of the reason why Philippines is in the 14th poorest country in Asia. Poverty is general scarcity or dearth, or the state of one who lacks a certain amount of material possessions or money. Poverty affects everyone, globally, regionally, and locally. To be living in poverty is a horrible state to be in. For the individual will be lacking in essential aspects needed for life. Half of the world's population survives on a dollar a day. And while 10% of the Philippines population controls all its wealth and land, 50% are living below the poverty line. There is no such thing as a perfect world. Hence, society can never be equal. But to have a child die every 3.5 seconds so that the fortunate can live as they please is simply unfair. Why does half of the world still live without a home, education, healthcare, or food? Poverty is caused by three main things. 
corruption, lack of education, and low wages. In 2004, the richest 20% of the population received nearly 11 times the share of the poorest 20%. These figures had changed little and had even become slightly worse. Elementary schooling is compulsory. But 24% of Filipinos of the relevant age group do not attend. Usually due to absence of any school in their area, education being offered in foreign languages only, or financial distress. The task force only found 21,000th universities, colleges to be recognized, as good teaching institutions by a sample of selected countries. In 2015, the Philippines spent only about $138 per pupil, compared to $1,582 in Singapore, $3,728 in Japan. Corruption in the Philippines is very prevalent. High government officials get very rich during their tenure of office. And then their spouse, children will run for an elective position. If they can no longer run for office and the process of taking over and corruption goes on.